love you. Ooh, woo. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> go, go, go. So today in this video, guys, we will be talking about how to know you are truly saved. So I have two ways for you to know you're saved. Just two, not five, not ten. Firstly, number one. You have heard the true gospel and you have believed the true gospel. And when I say the true gospel, you that Jesus Christ reconciled us back to God, that through him we are made righteous and justified with God. How did he do that? He came down to earth and lived the perfect and righteous life that we could not live. He got on the cross and became a curse for us. Every bad thing you ever did, every bad thing you will do as a believer, God has already covered that. He covered that for you. And that's why on the cross he says it is finished because it was done. He reconciled reconciled us back to God. He made us righteous. There's nothing more that we can do. You put your hope in Jesus Christ. You confess that Jesus is Lord and you know that you are saved by grace through faith. You know you alone cannot save you. You know anything on this earth you know anything on this earth will not make you righteous or justified with the Lord. So let's go to the word. We're going to go to Romans 10 9. It says, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Not you might be saved. Not maybe you saved. You, you kind of saved. No, the word says you will be saved. Period. If you have that faith and belief in Jesus Christ and his finished work on the cross, that's it. That's all you need. This is not a works-based salvation that says if you do X, Y, Z, you will be saved. It says no. Jesus already came to save you. He already did it. You just have to accept the gift of salvation, period. Number two. Number two. Dos. What is it in French? Do. Dos. Do. You have a new nature, period. You are bearing fruit. And this is not to say now, soon as you get saved, you will be bearing fruit, but you will be working towards that. Once we are saved and we have received the Holy Spirit, we have been converted. We have been born again believers. We are then being sanctified. So first comes justification. He wants my phone. First, we are justified with God, meaning we are made right with God. Jesus is, was lobbying on our behalf. He made us righteous with the Lord. So first, Jesus justified us. Second, he will sanctify us. Meaning, once you have the Holy Spirit in you, you will then be grieved over your old sin. You won't do the things you used to do anymore. Those desires, that taste for that will be wiped out of your mouth. And this is a continuous process. This is not to say that you won't fail. This is not to say that you will be perfect because we are imperfect humans. Because we are naturally inclined to sin, you will fall. But the mark of the, a true believer is when you fall, what direction do you go in? Do you go back to your, like the word says, do you, are you like a dog returning to your old vomit? Or are you continuing to press towards the mark? Now, as I said, after we are converted, born again, believers, sanctification occurs and we'll start displaying fruits of the spirit. That's in Galatians 5, 22 to 23, love, peace, patient, patience, kindness. We will have an increased desire for Christ. Our thirst, our, our hunger for him will continue to increase. It's not saying that you won't go through dry seasons where you're like, I'm not about this. I don't want to do this. But the Holy Spirit lives in you and you will continue to be convicted. You will have conviction. And it's not just, oh, I feel bad. No, it's like, you know what? I feel bad and I don't want to do that again. Jesus, give me the strength not to do that again. You are becoming Christ-like. You are pressing towards the mark. And we will continue to come become Christ-like until he returns. This is a lifelong process. This isn't just, oh, I'm saved, snap, I'm perfect, I'm like Jesus. No, you are continually working towards being righteous. You are continually working towards being more holy. And to, to drive that in, let's go to Proverbs 24, 16. It says the righteous man falls seven times and rises again. So just like I said, Jesus will make you righteous, but that does not mean that you won't fall. You will. But true believers continue to press towards the mark. We confess our sins and we're repentant. We're grieved over those sins. We don't want to live in habitual sin. We want to please God and we want to become more Christ-like. Oh, thank you. So good. It's so <laughs> all right so i just want to leave you with this it is not your mouth that reflects your love for god it's your life and your heart what's your heart condition like and what fruit are you bearing in your life 
that's the two ways that you know that you're saved. One, you accept Jesus Lord and Savior over your life. You know that through him you're saved. Two, you have a new nature. You are striving towards this new nature. You fighting for it. You clawing for it tooth and nail. You are running you're running the race. Period. You are pressing towards the mark. Up oh, what do you have in your mouth? What what the what the what the what the baby? So it's just that simple, guys. And as always, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will try to get to them as soon as possible. And have a good, 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 good day. I will see you guys on the next video. Right, baby? See you on the next video. Bum, bum. On the next video. Bum, bum. Bye.